Hey everyone, in this video we are going to rig up this prototype so the buttons go to places, not just clicking the frame. Plus we'll look at the different animation techniques in between the frames. Actually, I'll show you. Okay, by now, does a cool pushy thing. This one does a slidey thing. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna show you those. I'll also show you, the, remember that problem we had on this last uh, frame, the big giant black boxes? That came back and we fix it right at the beginning here. So I'll leave that in there so we can all learn. We learn about easing as well. It's a teeny bit of a long one, but we cover a lot. All right, let's jump in. All right, to change the animations, we're gonna do a couple of things. We are going to uh, make sure we're on prototype here in the top right. Okay, and we're going to delete these. Okay, if you haven't already. Okay, click on the names at the top and delete these transitions. Ooh, where did he come from? Ha ha. <laughs> Do you remember in an early video you were like, <laughs> I was like, what were those big black uh, boxes? I've turned Figma off, opened it back up, and I totally figured out what those big squares were. Okay, there's something in here. Uh, yeah, that's what they were. Big giant letters. Facebook, and there we go. Oh, well, problem solved. Uh, I think I was demoing it with you guys, showing you how to drag it in, and they all ended up there, but they disappeared. And now they're back. Oh, well, we fixed that uh, problem. Uh, let's look at the animation. So we've deleted the connections between them all. Okay, and let's do it for actual specific buttons rather than the whole entire frame. So what we can do is we're gonna say the buy now. Okay, gives its own little dot. Every little unit has a dot. So you can make everything clickable. So I want this buy now button to go to, it's gonna skip our product details and go all the way over to this one. Can you see I'm just dragging it around and you can connect it up. I want it to go to straight to checkout. Okay, that's for the keen buyers to go straight there. No fuss, no mess. Now, the animation is this. Okay, uh, it is instant at the moment, just moves across. Let's look at dissolve and let's just go and test it. Remember, you don't have to reload this, um, uh, but you might, if you've closed it, okay, just go to this little play button, okay, and go to present, and it will open it up. All right, so our little button, gonna click it. Look at that, dissolve. Very exciting. Remember, R is the refresh button, and you can practice through it. So we won't cover every single one because some of them are pretty self-explanatory. Um, we're going to instant is easy, dissolve, as you just saw, Smart Animate will leave for this video because it's a little bit more complicated for later in the course. It is amazing, but we're gonna do it later on. You need to set it up a bit more. Um, let's play with move in. Let's have a look. Uh, R for reset, move in. You see it slides in from the side. That's pretty cool. That gets really nice when you're doing kind of like mobile navigation. You want to kind of like move in from the side or maybe images flying across. And um, instead of testing every single one, what you can do is like move out. And can you see down the bottom here? If you hover above it, it kind of gives you a visual cue of what it's gonna do. So push, can you see instead of moving, which is one kind of sliding in on top, push, we'll push one out to move one in. Okay, so this is kind of an easy way to, um, slide's really good when we do get to those mobile apps where it just kind of like pushes it to the side, not all the way in. Okay, I'm gonna to stick to move in, and can you see here the directions? You can decide if where you want it from the left or come in from the right, down from the bottom. <laughs> down from the top <laughs> and up from the bottom. Uh, so those are all pretty easy. And um, let's look at one of the other interesting things is easing. Okay, so easing is on by default and it just means that ease out means it's gonna start fast and go slow on the out. Okay, it's gonna ease out it's that little curve there. Okay, I'll exaggerate it here. So um, this is another term we need to learn. Um, MS, which is milliseconds. Okay, 300 milliseconds is there's a thousand milliseconds in a second. So that is one second. Okay, so uh, 300 <laughs> is, I don't know, a small part of it. Um, Third-ish. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna turn it up to a second just so that I can um, preview it and have a look. Um, so let's go over here. It's R for refresh, by now. Can you see, nice and slow, but it starts fast and then gets nice and slow at the end. Okay, so that's ease out. What's very often nice is both ease in and out. You can ease it in, so it goes slow at the beginning, watch the little 
can you see? This actually shows it even better in this little um, icon here. So it starts slow, 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 and gets faster. Okay, it just always looks good with that ease in and ease out. Okay, so I'm gonna crank it right up to exaggerate it to 200 milliseconds. Okay, oh, I can do that. That's one fifth of a second. <laughs> um, all right, so let's preview it. Let's have a look uh, for a reset. By now, that is too fast. <laughs> uh, so let's try three, let's try 400. Reset, click it. Still probably a little fast, but you get the idea, right? It's easing is to play with the animation. Um, ease in and out is pretty cool. It's kind of like a bounce. So let's have a little look. It's probably still going a bit fast. Let's have a look. Yeah, too fast, but cool. Let's make it go to um, push in. Yeah, that's it. Push in. I'm going to ease it in and out, and I'm going to turn it to 600. There's a lot of playing with this. It depends on how long it is and what kind of easing you're doing, what kind of direction it has to move, kind of how far it has to move. So alpha reset. So that kind of E, what was it called? Um, ease in and out is that kind of bounce option. Before we go, we're gonna kind of rig it up a little bit. You do this on your example as well. I'm not gonna do it as a class exercise because I can't really check it. And um, so what I'm gonna do is just follow me. We wanna go from learn more. You could do it from the text. It's better to do it from the button. You could group it and do it from both. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it from the um, button around the outside. Okay, and I'm gonna say learn more is going to our product details. So you can learn more about it. Um, we're going to do the uh, text over here. So when you often click a uh, heading on a website, okay, it'll go back to the homepage. This is my homepage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say you go to this one. This go to this one. Now, what animation is it using? It's gonna use whatever the last thing you used. So I'm using a lot of pushes. Okay, so if you don't like push, we're gonna to have to go and change them all. So pick it first before you start clicking on them. Okay, so it'll just remember the last one. Uh, so I'm sticking to push. Um, the other thing to note about animation and just the interactions in general and prototyping, if I copy this and delete this one, click on there, hit paste, can you see it brought along with it? Okay, so as long as you're in prototype mode, you can copy and paste to different ones. So it means you can rig up the entire um, navigation on one of them and just copy and paste it along. Okay, so let's say it's this one here. I want it to go to the home page. You know, I make this go to the home page. I don't have a share and a um, uh, account button yet, okay, or even a mobile nav yet, but I could just copy them all and paste them on everything just to save some time. So by now, you end up with a spaghetti. It gets more and more spaghetti-ish depending on how detailed you want your kind of prototype to be. What I wanna do is make sure that this purchase button goes to here, boop and my home button's going, home button's going. Um, you don't have to drag it. Um, after a while, like it's really easy with only four of them because you can just kind of like oh, zoom out and just quickly drag this one, get it over here. Okay, it's doable. Uh, after a while, it's not, you know. <laughs> you saw that like Microsoft Materials one. Uh, no, Microsoft Teams one. There's no chance of rigging that up um, with dragging and dropping. Okay, so what you can do is you can click on these, okay, and actually don't click on them. You select it in prototype mode, click interactions, hit plus, okay, and it's gonna say tap. What happens, when, the, when you tap this one, it's gonna to go to, navigate to the home page. Okay, so you can do it that way and play around with your dissolve. So instead of dragging it, you can just kind of like select it, add this interaction and do it this way. I'm gonna dissolve back, fancy. Okay, I think that's it. Um, that's it, that's it, that's it. Hang on, let me think, I'll pause it, hang on. Uh, it's hard to get it right anyway when you're in the desktop view. In our upcoming video, we will test it on our actual phone. And then you'll know instantly, you'll be like, I'm stuck <laughs> and I can't get back. Okay, so you can update your um, uh, your prototype. Oh, updating them, we didn't do that. So if I wanna update this one from you know push, you can click on this line and it will pop that out. Otherwise, <laughs> click on it, and then you can click on homepage, and it just pops that thing back out again. To delete one, you can drag it off and back into itself so it disappears, or you can uh, click on the line like we did before and delete it. All right, we're starting to get prototypey. Let's have a look at our prototype. What can we do? Uh, let's go back to home. And um, did you notice that if I click on somewhere where it doesn't work, these little blue dots appear? It's just to help uh, people that are testing, even yourself, 
what to actually click, okay? Because we are doing, let's say, a task flow, and it's very simple. There's only four slides in it. And I only want to test that. I don't want people going, I'd probably remove that plus button for my test just because it's going to confuse the test itself, okay? But um, maybe it goes to the um, uh, product details page. But if you click anywhere, it should highlight the one. So by now, uh, purchase. Hey, congratulations. The push and the bounce is a bit weird, but um, you get the idea. All right, that is animation. What you probably are thinking, you're thinking is, I'm not sure I can use uh, Figma because it doesn't have the best, most amazing animation transition in the world. Let's have a look. It doesn't have, dissolve. Where's my page peel and my barn doors? I know, they're actually illegal in most countries now because they're so terrible. Uh, so if you're viewing pleasure, editor, can we wrap up? with a page peel. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up-y likey thing and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do wanna go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.